Dive deep into the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories and you'll find one institution at the heart of many of them. The British Royal Family. These theories, both intriguing and bewildering, paint a captivating narrative about the royals, ranging from the plausible to the downright fantastical. From the enduring controversy surrounding Princess Diana's death a quarter of a century ago, to the recent scandal involving a doctored photo of Princess Kate and her children, these conspiracy theories have found fertile ground to grow and spread. Social media platforms have become the modern-day public squares where these theories are shared, dissected, and amplified. Recently, the internet has been abuzz with whispers about the supposed death of Prince Charles III. Theories have sprung up like wildfire, fueled by claims that the BBC has been asked to be on standby. While these theories may be intriguing, it's vital to approach them with a clear head and a critical eye. After all, in this world of misinformation and speculation, it's easy to get lost in the labyrinth of conjecture and hearsay. Recently, social media has been abuzz with whispers of Prince Charles III's death, but what is the truth behind these rumors? Let's delve into the specifics of this intriguing rumor. The whispers started small, like a ripple in a pond growing increasingly wider and more intense. The core of the rumor, that Prince Charles III, the heir to the British throne, had passed away. The catalyst, the British Broadcasting Corporation BBC was reportedly asked to be on standby. Now, for those unfamiliar with the protocol, the BBC has a historic role in announcing royal deaths, and their supposed standby status further fueled the speculation. The rumor mill didn't stop there. While some were quick to dismiss the chatter as mere hearsay, others got drawn into the intrigue, the speculation becoming a wildfire on social media platforms. The theory was further amplified by the royal family's initial silence, which only seemed to add fuel to the fire. When the royal family did finally respond it was with a simple, clear message, Prince Charles III is alive and well. But how was this response received by the public? Well, it's been a mixed bag. Some breathed a sigh of relief, happy that their future king was in good health. Yet others remained skeptical, believing the denial to be a mere smokescreen, a way to quell the growing unrest. This incident brings to light the delicate dance between the royal family and the public. The royal's need for privacy often clashes with the public's thirst for transparency, creating a breeding ground for speculation and conspiracy theories. In this digital age, where rumors can spread faster than the truth, it's crucial to take a step back, to question the source, and to wait for official confirmation. As it stands, Prince Charles III is very much alive and well, putting to rest the rumors of his demise. But what happens when these conspiracy theories take on a life of their own? Well, let's imagine for a moment. When rumors start swirling, they can quickly morph into full-blown conspiracy theories, and their impact can be profound. They can shake public trust and perception in institutions like the royal family, which has been at the heart of British identity for centuries. When trust wavers, questions are raised. Questions about credibility, transparency, authenticity. Remember when a doctored photo of Princess Kate and her children was released? The backlash was immediate and the royal family's relationship with the press and the public was put under scrutiny. Conspiracy theories can also lead to widespread misinformation and confusion, the internet is a vast space, where unverified information can spread like wildfire, fueling further speculation and doubt. This is not just about the royal family, it's about the bigger picture of how misinformation can influence our understanding of events, individuals and institutions. But it's not all doom and gloom. These moments also spark important conversations about critical thinking and the need for reliable sources of information. Conspiracy theories, while fascinating, can have real-world consequences if not handled responsibly. The world of conspiracy theories is a labyrinth of intrigue and mystery, especially when it involves the British royal family. We've journeyed through this labyrinth together, exploring the enigma of royal conspiracies, delving into the recent Prince Charles III death rumor that has social media abuzz, and examining the profound impact such theories can have on our collective consciousness. These theories are more than just idle chatter, they reflect our deep-seated curiosity and our insatiable need to make sense of the world around us. The prevalence of royal family conspiracy theories underscores our fascination with the monarchy, its power, and the secrets it might harbor. The Prince Charles III death rumor, like many before it, serves as a testament to the power of speculation, a reminder of how easily unverified information can spread and the importance of critical thinking in the face of sensational claims. 
And let's not forget the real-world implications of these theories. They shape our perceptions, influence our attitudes, and can even impact the trust we place in institutions, as we've seen with the royal family's recent trust issues. As we navigate this labyrinth, remember to question everything, seek out reliable sources, and always keep an open mind. After all, the truth is often stranger than fiction.